Hi, today we're going to make a paper airplane. Now for demonstration purposes I've drawn in these lines but obviously you don't need them. Um, this line right here is down the center from the short side all the way down and this line is about four inches from the top. Okay, so let's begin. We are going to take this corner and make a nice clean crease so that it's a triangle down to the center of the cross. And do the same thing on this side. Take the corner and have it touch the other triangle corner that we just made. So we kind of have this house-like shape. Okay, now we're going to take the roof of the house and fold it over on the other side. So we folded it over. And then we're going to grab a pen and make a dot right down the middle, <coughs> excuse me, of the triangle. It's about the, you know, just past the center of this big triangle or roof like shape. And obviously, as you get better, you can start eyeballing where the center is. But Again, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to draw that dot, mm -hmm. grab the corner, and put it down the center right here. And we're going to make a nice, clean crease. Then we're going to grab the opposite corner and do the same exact thing. And notice that um, you know, I use my finger to make the creases. and press down. So now we have this diamond-like shape over here and we're going to turn that into a triangle. Again, lots of triangles in this. And kind of make this flap come over where these where the dot was. Hope everybody. I hope this is easy to follow. Okay, so now the flap's holding it. Now we're going to flip the plane over and the black lines here. And basically we're just going to fold this entire shape in half using the black line or eyeballing it. And so that your edges meet. And again, we're trying to make the best creases as possible. And that affects the flight of the plane. Um, the last step is to make the wings. Now we can, usually the, the normal wing is to make a crease right at the top of this triangle here. So I put my finger here, make a little crease, and fold. That's one wing. And then the same thing on the other side. Put my finger at the top of this triangle, press down, make a crease, and voila, we have our paper airplane. And this plane flies pretty good. Um, when you make the throw, try to throw it towards the sky, not obviously down or... Mm, when you fly it straight on, it may or may not have a good flight. The longest flight is kind of like not straight up into the sky but kind of at an angle. Then you can uh, have a little fun and uh, experiment with the way the plane flies by making a small tear at the end here and creating some flaps. So if you put the flaps up, the plane has a tendency to go up and you know if you throw it hard enough or and the flaps don't have to be really big yeah you know this one's actually kind of big a little bit goes a long way but if you put the flaps up it tends to go up and in some cases it might even do a loop if you put the flaps down the plane dives down and then you can have all kinds of fun with this you can do like one up, one down, see what it does, or do it the opposite side, etc., etc. 
Um, oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention is when you're making the wing, you can also uh, decide to, you know, I said use the top of the triangle to make the wing. A variation of that would be go to the middle of the triangle and have a bigger wing and see how it flies. Or go, you know, a, a, you know, let's say half an inch or a quarter of an inch above the triangle here and see, you know, with a smaller wing how it would fly. So, you know, how you, how you put the plane together um, really can change its flight. Um, but anyways, that's it. Go ahead and have lots of fun.